I don't know. I have no talent. I'm not lacking of talent. I do not have perseverance either. I do not learn what I have to learn. The implacability of a steady training to begin in the early morning regular exercises for hours and hours without any distraction. Following this one aim, knowing exactly what I want to reach. I never do it, never. I'm content playing around some vague sequences. Tranquilize me already. Why do I always blame myself? I always blame myself. What is forcing me to become an extraordinary pianist? What is forcing me to find my fulfillment in art? Art. Art. What is art then? It's just processing of indigested and repressed, repressed conflicts. Sublimation. Art is sublimation. Pianist is luck with woman. It seems quite ridiculous. But there are exemptions. There are existing men who conquered easily woman by playing piano and found happiness. What does it mean, happiness? Well, I don't know what happiness is, okay? Your only desire is to be loved. You just want that the audience says, Alfred is a genius. He's a very gifted pianist. Even in the newspaper they shall write it. Shall I now go on? Exercising or what? This question has to be answered clearly. I always try to escape. I'm not relaxed, my hands are stiff, I'm distracted and unconcentrated, I'm thinking all the time, my brain is stuffed with silly thoughts. How can I empty my brain? I would try it, close my eyes and go on with my exercises. A piano. I don't know if a piano can really satisfy my desires. It's a very bourgeois instrument loaded with expectations and cliches. They could love me without this damned piano. I could avoid these senseless efforts. Alfred, they could say, the silence is in our heart. It was so wonderful, wonderful when we saw you sitting in silence in front of the piano with your slim hands on the keyboard. When you died, we would put flowers on your grave, weep for you. This beautiful house in Warsaw comes in my mind. This park, the sunlit pebble path, this, the old trees, the white window, and the woman with lovely shiny brown hair and a white robe, the 
His great dark wet eyes reflected in sunlight. Ah, sentimentalities. It is all gone forever. Sing, just as the birds sing. Out of a free, relaxed throat. But for who? Here in this room, nobody is listening. That's even better. You can make mistakes. Yes, you can. Admit it. You are allowed to make mistakes. Why do you always want to be perfect? Nobody ever is. A message. Oh, what a surprise.